my name is Leon Shaw. I'm with Audio Advice. Today we're going to learn how to set up iTunes best for importing your CD library into it. So once you've done all that work of importing your CDs, they'll sound great. So the first thing we want to do is go here to the iTunes menu and find preferences. If you're using a Windows-based system, this will be under the Edit tab. So we'll select Preferences. This will bring up the General Preferences tab. And since uh, I'm going to be importing just a ton of CDs, I want to try to automate this a little bit more. So I'm going to have it go to Import CD and Eject. So when I put a CD in, it's just going to go ahead and rip it. And then I want it to go out and find the track names from the Internet. I'll click that. And this is the important part. We want to click on the Import Settings. Apple iTunes defaults to a compressed method of importing your music from your CDs. The reason they do that is they want to try to fit as much music as possible in as small a space as possible. But in today's world of very inexpensive hard drives, this really doesn't make sense. So we want to choose AIFF. This is a totally uncompressed method of storing your music. It's the best sounding one in iTunes. We'll choose that. And then we want to use error correction. This will take a little bit longer, but it does ensure we get all the data off of our CDs. Click OK. We then want to go over here to Playback. And we want to uncheck Sound Enhancer and Sound Check, because this will alter the sound of your music as iTunes tries to process it. We click OK. And then we're done. Now I've been importing my music here for several days. I've got about 350 uh, CDs imported, which has taken up about 174 gigabytes of space. I've got 900 left, but I calculate that's still going to take up less than one terabyte of storage, so I got two terabytes for about 250 bucks. I think I'll be set for quite a while. If you have any questions about this process, feel free to email Leon, L-E-O-N, at audioadvice.com. Thanks for taking your time to view this, and I hope you have a great day.